Now it's been a while since our last legit quick bit, but I think this one here might be it. Do you want to learn how to farm infinite gunpowder, fertilizer, bone shards, and more via toadstool? Good, because you just did, folks. No, seriously, darn near everything you need to see has already been seen. You wake the King of the Frogs up, you wait out his spore bomb attack, you drop what you want rotted, and either proceed to chill nearby for literal seconds until the job is already done, or simply leave the arena for a bit until Toadstool quote-unquote despawns. Yes, it is indeed this easy, and yes, it is indeed this fast. But while we could be done immediately, here's a tip for ya. You count to two or three, drop what you need spoiled as quickly as you can, that spore bomb goes off a mere second later, and the farm is done. Or better yet, drop the loot pretty much immediately, and then start to count to roughly four seconds, and run. Either way, good luck. This is the farm. But why rotten eggs, you ask? Well, there's always its compost nutrient side of everything, but let's make this simple. It's gunpowder, everybody. Now, while there's actually a more efficient method of farming rotten eggs nowadays via misshapen birds and all that, that is definitely a late game one, which is something not many are gonna have access to as quickly as this. To continue then, why growth formula? Well, my question to you would then be, how can you not know this already? It's for growth formula, fertilizer, and nutrients, of course. The best and most efficient ones out there to boot. Oh, and yes, you can actually tank the sport cloud with armor if you're lazy or stupid like me, but if you're gonna do it, bring marble. But come on now, beard. Rot? Really? Well, this one's a little more interesting than you might think. We have, of course, got the compost nutrients nowadays. Wormwood heals both directly and indirectly. Mushroom crafts, which are some of the best in the game. Health boosters, of course. Resource fertilization beyond manure, and that is especially important in the early days of this game. And then some. So do not discount it. But lastly, why spoiled fish? And that is a good question, honestly, as I bet this is the one that no one is gonna give any mind to, but it's bone shards, folks. Bone shards are the answer, and you're gonna get lots and lots of them. Now that might not sound too enticing. However, I mean this with full sincerity. Bone shards are actually really flippin' good, especially nowadays. Do not ignore them. And if you don't believe me, literally just go see how many crafts bone shards go into on the wiki. But there you have it, everyone. Not really a guide per se, but more of a heads up about a method that I have been using for years at this point, but have never made a video on for some reason. It's extremely useful, incredibly fast, and has legitimate utility if you know what you're going after. So I hope you learned just that here today. Thanks for watching, folks. Well, wishes to all, explore the spore, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.